Hey everybody, hope your new year is going okay. This is a practice amplifier from XL model EXL16R, which is a reverb practice amp. It's got an 8 inch speaker. It's from a little uh, teaching studio. It's one of their practice amps, and it's in here because it's noisy. I was told crackly. I've got the gain and the volume down, but yeah, that doesn't sound good when you turn it on. So we've got two gains, high gain, low gain. High gain makes shushy noises, that's kind of to be expected. Um, but that's that startup sound. Let's hear that again. Yeah, that's not good. That's just not good. So, um, it's obviously going to need some service. I think I and everybody else who watches this channel probably knows what we're going to be looking at. But uh, amplifiers shouldn't do that. I mean, solid state amps giving a hearty thump when you boot them up is kind of normal. You know, you get that poof. But they don't go nyah. I mean, they don't they don't do that when they're healthy. So let's pop the lid off. It's a little dusty. I'm not going to dust it yet. Let's see what's inside first. Okay, so we are inside the XL guitar amplifier. It actually does have a legit little uh, spring reverb module in there. That's pretty cool. But uh, we come down here to this end, and we have 22 microfarad, I believe 16 volt capacitors. And this one has swelled up to the point that it's blown its jacket and the top is bulging. Gee, what a surprise. So we'll do a little cap swap on this, uh, clean the pots, and see if it comes back to life. Okay, so I pulled the board. This capacitor that is not bloated or damaged tests every bit as good as a fresh one would. And this one tests like absolute garbage. I think it shows like 29 picofarad or something. This is obviously bad. I mean, it's blown up. Um, I looked through my bin of things and I have some young, healthy, but previously installed uh, 2200 microfarad, 35 volts. These both test real good. So I'm going to just replace the bad one. I mean, these are flea market amps. We need to make it work and you just take care of what's bad. Okay, so 2200 microfarad, 35 volts, a little bigger, but it's a little more robust. And now we just go through and spray pot cleaner in all the pots and turn them a bunch of times and then put it back together and see what happens. Okay, so call me camped in overconfidence. Um, I cleaned all the pots here and then I put it back together and I plugged it back into the speaker. This has one of those TDA audio modules and if you don't have a speaker load on it, um, bad things can really happen to that little module that'll just go up in smoke. Uh, so let's turn the volumes down here and, uh, and kick the tires and light the fires and see if it makes that horrible, awful sound when we turn it on this time now that we have replaced the exploded, kind of exploded, definitely janky bad capacitor. Okay, that's better. That's just thump. Thump is normal. Bzzz, bzzz is not normal. So, volume for the rhythm channel. Soft hiss. Gain channel. Okay, yeah. So I, I can really get hiss when I dime it, but this is like four billion times quieter. Let's just listen to the hiss here and see if our. Uh, Equalizers are working. There's bass that works. Mid works. Treble works. Does the reverb work? Yes. I can hear it. Can you hear it? It's in there. There we go. That works. So that's that was the root of the problem. Um, I may just button this up, vacuum it off, and call it a win, but for some reason, despite this being a, what would equivocate to a, you know, flea market amplifier, 
I figure y'all deserve a sound demo just because that's what we do here. But um, this is, you know, for students to rehearse with, and it works fine for that, I'm sure. And it's got a Celestian made speaker in it, so it's not, it doesn't have a horrible speaker. And it's got a spring reverb, which is at least a cut above everything else. We'll let it cook for a little bit, make sure it's cool, put the knobs back on, and give it a sound check. Okay, kids, the moment you've been waiting for. The XL... The XL16R guitar amplifier. Clean channel demo here. Here we go. Turn the reverb on and see if it surfs. Does it surf? Well, the reverb works. It's cool that there's actually a legit spring reverb in one of these. And then let's try the drive channel. Actually, one of the better sounding practice amp drive channels I've heard. Yeah. I mean, granted, I've got it at a low volume, but that actually is not a terrible drive channel, so. Alright, so the problem this amp had was a bad filter capacitor that was causing it to make a horrible, awful popping noise when you turned it on and it would cause crackle and things after it ran for a while. So, there you go. You know, let it sit, sit and cook for a couple of hours, but that's probably all we really need to do to it. And uh, if, it's teaching the next, uh, if it's teaching the next gen of students how to play guitar so they don't make horrible, awful, synthesized pop music. Good for, good for them. So there you go. Thanks for watching and uh, look for you on the next project.